students and my teacher friends namaskar i welcome you to the presentation lecture on hcg now the first question what is hcg so hcg is basically lh like hormone and it is known as the full form of hcg is human chorionic gonadotropin hormone and h small h stands for the human now this hcg hormone is secreted by tropoblast cells now we have learned the process of implantation in that <coughs> the peripheral cell layer is known as tropoblast cell so the moment when the implantation has occur from that time this hcg secretion starts so the first structure which is producing this hcg hormone is tropoblast cell then the second structure which is producing this hcg is the chorion now <coughs> chorion itself develops <coughs> from the tropoblast cell uh, i am explaining you in the blastocyst we know uh, there is inner there is inner cell mass okay from this inner cell mass of the blastocyst the mesoderm mesoderm develops and this mesoderm cell they combines with this tropoblast and this chorion is produced so this chorion is also secreting the hormone hcg then <clears throat> in early pregnancy the placenta develops and the placenta also secretes the hormone hcg so you need to remember the three structure that the tropoblast cell then the chorion and in early pregnancy the placenta develops and uh, placenta is secreting large amount of human chorionic gonadotropin hormone now the second point the period of secretion of hcg so we will divide the entire pregnancy into three semester okay first tri semester then the second and the third tri semester so first three month of pregnancy is known as first tri semester then the next three months second trimester and the last three month they are known as third trimester okay so during first 3 month of pregnancy hcg is secreted in large amount okay and then after this first 3 month first 3 month then from third month to fourth month the level of hcg is declining and from 4 to 9 month it is further declining okay so i am explaining this for example in the figure i will show you as you can see okay <coughs> this is the chart so as you can read this point first point okay during the first 3 month <coughs> the amount of hcg increases in the pregnant woman's blood and then <coughs> the level of hcg is decreasing so here you can see this is the first trimester this is the second and this is the third trimester so you closely look this figure the first trimester that is the 
first we will uh, what we are doing we are dividing the entire pregnancy period into nine months so we th we are dividing this nine month into three plus three plus three okay so the first three month of pregnancy are known as first trimester then the next three months are known as the second trimester and the last three months of the pregnancy are known as the third trimester so what is going on in the first trimester so see here there are three hormones that you have to look okay the red color arrow is showing the amount of hcg then the <coughs> blue color and the green color so with the blue color progesterone is showing and with the green color arrow estrogen is showing okay so now as you can see during the first trimester placenta is producing large amount as you can see here this is the first trimester and placenta is developed and it is producing large amount of SCG so you just follow this red color arrow so in the graph as you can see okay so this is the first trimester and large amount of SCG is produced so now at the end of end of first trimester that is the first three month SCG the amount of SCG in blood is on a peak okay it is the highest level of SCG in woman's blood now between third and fourth month this is the time period third and fourth month the level of SCG start declining and this SCG is further declining during the entire pregnancy period okay so first three month SCG is very high then between third and four it is declining and in the rest of pregnancy period it is declined further so that thing we have to keep in mind this is a very important important chart I will show you the entire chart so that you can take the screenshot and if you prepare this chart if you read this chart then you will <coughs> get the idea about the SCG okay you can take the screenshot I will reduce the size okay this way you can take the screenshot okay so now <coughs> we are going back one minute So we are discussing the secretion of HCG. Some blank slides are there. So that's why this problem is occurring. No problem. Okay. So we were on this point. So the HCG secretion was on the peak during the first three months and it is secreted by the placenta. Now what is the role of this HCG? Okay. Now we need to understand this so when the implantation is done for example this is the I am drawing this structure this is the fallopian tube okay this is the uterus this is the vagina both the side okay Now fertilization occurred, then the cleavage, then the blastocyst stage. Blastocyst is coming into uterine cavity and it is implanting. Okay. So this this part of the endometrium, okay, where the implantation has occurred is thickening. And why it is thickening? Because we know in the blastocyst there are tropoblast cell and this tropoblast they start producing the hormone SCG.
Now where this SCG is going? So this SCG enters in the blood and via the blood this SCG reaches into the ovary and in the ovary there is a structure called corpus luteum. So basically this SCG, SCG is acting upon this corpus luteum. So corpus luteum is not degenerating and corpus luteum will continue to produce the hormone estrogen and progesterone. Now this estrogen and progesterone they act upon this endometrium so that this endometrium thickens it proliferates okay and so that the <coughs> embryo can develop okay so the main role of SCG is to protect this corpus luteum SCG is not allowing corpus luteum to degenerate so corpus luteum continuously producing estrogen and progesterone for early pregnancy month okay and this estrogen and progesterone they are acting on the endometrium so since this endometrium is very thick and implantation has occurred pregnancy is taking place so the menstruation will not occur the endometrium will not slug off that is the role SCG is playing okay now the placenta so with this chart <coughs> I will explain once again we are going on this chart this chart is very important now as you can see so in the first trimester the corpus luteum in the ovary was producing progesterone and estrogen and SCG level was very high now in second trimester what is happening okay so in second trimester the level of SCG is declining and when we talk about the progesterone level so you need to remember during the entire pregnancy period the level of progesterone is increasing okay so you follow the blue color line as you can see the level of progesterone is shown by the blue color line and during the entire pregnancy the progesterone level is increasing okay now from where this progesterone is produced so as you can see in early pregnancy progesterone is produced by the corpus luteum in the ovary but in the second trimester the production of the project uh, progesterone sips to the placenta so now the placenta is playing the role for the production of progesterone okay so in simple term we can say in the early pregnancy the corpus luteum was producing the progesterone and now that job of producing the progesterone is taken over by the placenta so from the second trimester the placenta is producing the progesterone okay now uh, let's talk about the estrogen so uh, for estrogen also the amount of estrogen during the entire pregnancy period as you can see with the green arrow you follow this green line okay in this graph so during the entire <coughs> pregnancy time period the amount of estrogen is increasing okay and how this estrogen is produced so in early pregnancy okay we know the follicles which are present in the ovary primary secondary graph and they are producing estrogen and the corpus luteum is also producing the estrogen okay but now <coughs> in the third trimester the placenta is producing the estrogen okay so that thing we have to keep in mind okay so now you get the idea what is the role 
okay what is the role the scg is playing okay scg is not allowing this slug off of slug off of the endometrium scg is not allowing the menstruation okay and scg is making the endometrium thick in the early pregnancy scg is acting on the corpus luteum so corpus luteum is producing estrogen and progesterone and estrogen and progesterone in the first trimester they are acting on the endometrium okay so implantation is taking place in the, the pregnancy embryo development all these things are taking place in the first trimester so in first trimester the scg is playing a very vital role okay so now we are coming <coughs> on to the last point of our discussion that is the test of pregnancy now if the woman feels that uh, she has become pregnant how she will know that the pregnancy has taken place so in the market at the medical store there are pregnancy kits are available and this pregnancy kit basically they determine the presence of scg in the maternal blood or in the urine okay so with this this lecture is completed now <coughs> before i wind up this lecture i would like to show you all the slide one by one so you can prepare your notes okay the entire lecture and all the points i am showing okay <coughs> this is the role of scg and the development of placenta okay this is the entire theory portion and this two important chart okay this is also important chart so you can take the screenshot of this chart also okay then this chart i have already described this chart okay so with this i am completing i am completing this presentation lecture on hcg i hope you have enjoyed this presentation lecture my name is manish koshti sir i am from amdavad india bye bye namaste <laughs>